Okay, restarting my phone here. Now, this is my Moto uh, X4, and it has a very annoying startup animation. Um, I mean, visually it's fine, but it just has annoying sounds that I don't want to hear every time I restart my phone, especially since I set my phone to do backups and restart each night. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Uh, this is what it looks like. Give it a second here to start up. Da 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 da. Eventually. Hello, Moto. And the volume isn't even all the way up. So that is what it sounds like. That's what it looks like. Not only is it annoying, I don't like uh, you know advertising for other companies. So we're gonna quickly today look at replacing the boot image, uh, boot animation on an Android device. And it's similar for most Android devices. But let's first, let's just see what happens. Let's see where that boot image is uh, and um, what happens if you just get rid of it. So it is a zip file. It is a specially, yet yeah, there's certain options you have to make when you're compressing the zip file, which we'll talk about in the next video where we actually create animations. Today, we're just gonna look at replacing them. So on my desktop here, I'll list out here, I've got three zip files. I've got uh, a boot animation, which is a basic cube animation that I created. Uh, one that's a microchip and Punisher video game animation. And then I also have a stock one, uh, which you probably want to back up before you start modifying it in case you want to go back to it. But as you're about to see, deleting it's not going to hurt anything. And also, we are going to be modifying the system partition. Take care. First of all, make sure you always have a backup system partition, whether you make it yourself or if you get stock uh, images. Um, if you modify the system partition on an Android device, uh, it probably won't, won't let you do any official updates after that. So you want to keep a stock copy uh, because the, the over-the-air, the OTA um, update system will look, and if it sees the partition has been modified, it just won't let you update. Uh, so you want to be able to flash back to that default system partition so you can do updates. So that's a warning. Also, if you screw up your system partition, uh, you, you may not be able to boot your system, so you want to have a backup copy. We talked about this in previous videos. But real quick, what, quick what I'm going to do is I am going to ADB. Uh, also, I assume that you already have your bootloader unlocked and you know how twerp works. That's uh, for this whole series. I'm assuming you know that stuff. I'm not going to go over it every single time. ADB reboot bootloader and the phone should reboot into that and then I'm going to use my twerp script which I talked about in a previous video but just get twerp going this is my Moto X4 and now twerp should load up to RAM on the device and it will take a moment. Now on this particular phone, my data is encrypted. It's gonna ask me to decrypt that. I don't need to do that for this because we're not modifying my personal data. We're modifying the system partition. Now, uh, I could hit cancel on that and then it will ask me whether I wanna keep the system partition uh, read only. Uh, also, if I go past that, um, there'll be an option to mount. I'll, I'll show you all that, but I'm gonna do it all from the shell, but I'll also show you the options um, on the device. So I'm just going to cancel for decrypting. It's going to ask me, I'm going to say keep read only because some system may not ask that. You can click to make it writable. But I'm going to go mount and then you can see here it says, uh, you might not be able to see that in the camera, but it says mount system partition as read only. You would want to uncheck that and then check system to mount it. Another way to do it, which is the way we're going to do it, is I'm going to ADB shell and I'm going to say mount device and I'm going to go block devices, boot devices in my particular case. Uh, by name and then system and this will point to the system partition which uh, in my case I actually don't even know what partition it is but this is just a symbolic link so you should be able to find under block devices uh, there's somewhere there should be a sub that says by name and I've talked about this in previous videos we're going to mount this to uh, the system folder and I'm going to move into the system folder now on most Android devices what is going to happen here is under the system folder, there would be a folder called media. So we would look under system media. Well, although that's true for most devices, it took me a little while to figure out that on this particular device, the Moto G4, or sorry, Moto X4, 
Uh, when you mount system, it then also, we can list out here, there is another folder called system in here, which is your actual system. It's, it's weird, just Android devices are inconsistent with their file systems, and this is an example of that. But we're looking for system media or system system media. You also notice that I'm getting an error here anytime I run a command. It's looking for this particular file that does not exist, I guess, and I think it's because on this device, it's probably going to be under system system, not system etc. Anyway. On this particular device, we're going to go into system, system, and then system, media. And we can list out here. Let me go ahead and clear the screen. List out here again. Ignoring the error up here, you can see that we have a folder with audio stuff. We have a folder wallpaper stuff. But then we have this boot animation zip. Okay? So we know where that is. Again, it's either going to be under system, system, media, or on most systems, it's going to be called system, media. Again, that's not me trying to make it confusing. That's just how Android is. Um, again, I have already pulled that, but you would want to ADB pull that file like so. So ADB pull forward slash boot animation, and that will pull it to your desktop computer. Again, as I've exited out of the phone, I'm on my desktop computer, ADB pull, pull that. I already have that right here. It's actually this one I called stock boot animation. Now. Uh, what I do want to show you, of course, as I said, first thing, ADB shell, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that file, just delete it. What happens if you just delete the animation file? Uh, let's go ahead and start my camera back up since the battery is dying. Hopefully I can get enough out of here. Okay, uh, I have two batteries for my camera and they're both dead. So I'm using my other, my Nexus 5X to record the rest of this here. Uh, but we're still in twerp here. I'm gonna swipe to unlock. I'm gonna go back to the home and I'm gonna click reboot. I'm gonna say system. And I say, I'm gonna say do not install twerp because I don't want that installed. And it will restart. So we have deleted the default animation from our phone, that zip file, which has, uh, in some cases, still images in the series, or in this particular case, it was a video file. We'll talk more about that in the next video. Uh, but we'll see here, also this image, we'll talk a little bit about that and uh, other boot images, hopefully in this series, if I get time to get to them. There we go. So this is what happens if you don't have a boot image. It's just an Android, it kind of fades. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, left to right. Um, it's just that the fault Android thing you probably see on cheap tablets or used to see on Android devices many moons ago. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reboot or ADB reboot into the bootloader again. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to boot into twerp. I've talked about this. I'm using the script that I created in a previous video. Uh, Moto 4X, yes. So now all I have to do is replace it with uh, a boot animation. So I'll upload uh, the boot animations I've created here and try to remember to put a link in the uh, video description. Uh, but what I'm going to do here again is I'm going to ADB shell once the we are in twerp and then I will mount that system partition and I'll push over that little cube animation and then that uh, Punisher animation that I created uh, using some animations I found online. Okay. Mount, not pseudo mount in this case, because you're root. I do that a lot. Uh, <laughs> device, um, block device, boot device, by name. Again, it, it's going to probably be under block. It might vary a little bit on your device, but you're looking for a block device by name, uh, in this case, system. We're going to mount that to our system part, our folder. Then we will exit out of here, and I am just going to clear the screen. ADB, push. And I'll do boot animation two system system in this case media and in this case it's already called boot animation and I'll push it there and then I'm going to I could ADB reboot but then it always brings me to this little uh, command screen that I gotta force reboot anyway so I'm gonna say keep read only reboot system. Do not install twerp. Again, now we just wait while it boots. Uh, and what this is just going to be, I made this in Blender. It's just a little animation that loops of a cube moving over and over again. It's like one or two seconds long and it loops. And when you create these, again, we'll talk about this in the next video, you actually um, 
create an intro and an outro and a loop, a center loop. Uh, you don't have to create all those. You can just have the loop if you want. But there you go. Uh, flash the Punisher screen for a second, and then it's from an old Punisher video game where you die and it's a little countdown join in. When it's done, your system is booted. Uh, oh, that was that was the wrong animation. That was the last one I wanted to show you. So it wasn't the cube one. I don't have the cube one prepared. Uh, but we'll talk about that in the next video where we're creating some. So anyway, uh, I feel like things kind of went awry in this with my battery dying and kind of threw me off my game. But I hope that you learned something from it. Again, that's how you can remove and go down to a default Android uh, animation screen, which is nice, quiet, just the word Android, or replace it with a zip file for your device. Uh, and it varies a little bit from device to device. Basically, I think screen resolutions and some uh, support video. I don't know if all support video because you can also do an animated sequence. Uh, the Nexus 5X uses an animated sequence, I believe. Um, but uh, we'll look at that more in the next video. I do thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope that you have a great day.